for getting very close to the heart of business by watching Smart 24 TV. And of course, this is Financial Markets. My name is Anthony, and the show is probably brought to you by Otex East Africa. Otex is the number one private stock exchange in East Africa, of course, uh, licensed by the Capital Markets Authority to carry out different trades and transactions. Now, uh, with that partnership with MTN, you can now dial star 290 hash and you'll be able to access bonds across East Africa, not only in Uganda, but also in Kenya, Tanzania as well. And uh, you can be able to buy or even sell or even learn more about the products at Altex East Africa. They also have an exchange traded fund currently running on different equities around the region in Uganda, in um, Tanzania and Kenya. And so you can also check it out as well. Altex markets open at 15 minutes past the hour of 8 and close at a quarter past the hour of 3 p.m. Altex do something new. Now back to the stock market. We had uh, of course, a very wonderful market yesterday with very big uh, gainers here on the market and new gainers as well, uh, but impressively no losers at all. Now, the most impressive thing about the markets yesterday was not the fact that there was no loser, uh, but the fact that CIPLA, Quality Chemical Industries, has come up at the top of the table, which is the first time experienced, at least within the last three or four years. Months. Now, CIPLA Quality Chemical Industries, uh, listed on the Uganda Exchange in 2018, uh, gained yesterday by about 3.59 shillings, uh, from 65 shillings on the previous day to 68.59 shillings, and that was a 5.52%. And as you can see, he was the top most gainer uh, via percentage on the stock price there in uh, Uganda. CIPLA traded close to about 7,100 shares on the stock market and uh, a volume uh, which accrued a turnover of about 487,000 Ugandan shillings only. The company currently has a market capitalization of 250 billion Ugandan shillings and currently it is the 11th most valuable on the stock market here in Uganda. Sipla interestingly beat MTN, Kenya Airways and other gainers by a margin there. Uh, that is the percentage gain on the price impressively yesterday uh, after closing uh, the daily trades. Now, looking at uh, their annualized performance, the company hasn't been looking so good previously uh, in terms of uh, price depreciation um, because after all, beginning the year, uh, the company had a price of 92.2 uh, shillings on uh, the stock market per share. And currently comparing it with the 68.59 per uh, Ugandan shillings that we are having at the moment on uh, the Uganda Stock Exchange, the company has lost about close to 25.5% uh, of their price in their uh, a year-to-date performance that has been registered on the stock market in Uganda. Currently, the company is ranked the 14th in terms of year-to-date performance because, of course, of that particular loss. However, interestingly, CIPLA is the seventh most traded on in the previous uh, about three months, exactly. That is about from 19th of July to the 18th of October yesterday. The company within this period has traded close to about 164,234 shares on the stock market, which is a good margin, uh, providing investors with liquidity. The company has on average been trading close to about 2,607 shares per trading session and a volume high of about 47,200 shares was achieved on the 14th of October 2022. When you look at their frequency of trading, well, they pretty had uh, a very fair or average trading frequency with trading on the 18th, on the 14th, on the 11th, on the 29th uh, of last month, on the 20th. So you can see a little bit of scattered um, kind of activity, but uh, overall, it is a very uh, tradable stock. And if you're looking for long-term gain, I would uh, especially recommend CIPLA because 
Uh, the company currently is uh, uh, manufacturing uh, dosage of anti-malarial and uh, anti-retroviral dr drugs, and to be specific, ARVs against HIV. And they are uh, right now uh, constructing another facility to be able to manufacture anti-cancer drug dosages. And that will definitely uh, be a very big kick forward for the company there uh, on the Uganda Stock Exchange. So if you are a long-term investor in the next three or two or five years, definitely CIPLA Quality Chemicals is one of the companies to look out for. Well, good, you can see the graph there, uh, thanks to my producer. Uh, thank you very much for bringing that. Uh, definitely, you can see the stock there for uh, the CIPLA company, how it has been moving over the last couple of months. Of course, that very sharp decline you're seeing on the curve from 90 shillings uh, to a close to about 70 shillings happened early July, uh, rather early June, around the month of June. Uh, the company lost a stock value from 90 sh 92 shillings in January uh, close to 88 and then down to 80 shillings in around the month of June and still further lost in the month of June to 70.0 shillings and as you can see uh, it leveled off at 70 shillings for quite some time between the month of June, July, August until the month of October when the company still declined further uh, to 65. Well, looks like CIPLA has hit the rock bottom. I don't know, but uh, looks like we're coming back to the 70 shillings mark and even beyond at the moment. Of course, after this gain of 5.52% that we registered yesterday on the stock market. In terms of four weeks, the company has lost just 2.01% and on year on year loss has been about 27% percent on CIPLA. So it is the time to buy from CIPLA and uh, if you're out there and looking for new stock and uh, you are a novice in the financial markets or stock markets, uh, consider CIPLA. Very affordable stock, 68 shillings per share. I mean with 68,000 you can buy over a thousand shares or even less, uh, you know. So check out CIPLA for your new stock there on the stock market. Let's look at MTN. Now, MTN Uganda was another top gainer, uh, very interestingly here. And uh, MTN, of course, we know is the youngest company so far to be listed on the stock exchange. It's the youngest on the stock in terms of listing. Um, MTN gained 1.02%. Of course, uh, we are used to MTN gaining uh, between 1.02 to 2%. And yeah, uh, this is not very new on the market. However, uh, what is new is that they had about 1.05% million shares that were traded on the stock and uh, about their gross turnover. Yesterday alone, we had 193 million transacted on MTN, which is quite a good movement uh, for the company. Well, the company is still the third most traded on stock on the Uganda Securities Exchange over the past three months. And uh, within this period, we have seen about 11.2 million shares that have been traded and they're valued currently at over 2.14 billion Ugandan shillings. Still, MTN, a very attractive company, even for speculators, by the way. For those of you who are uh, coming into a market very quickly to move out, uh, we still advise you to go to MTN. You can have a look at their graph and uh, see that those fluctuations give you opportunity. The lowest the company has hit was 160.0 shillings. Uh, that was in the month of February. And uh, later on, we are seeing the company hitting back to 180 and uh, uh, going below 180 a little bit in the month of July, uh, but then coming back to between 180 and 200. 180 and 200. We almost hit 200 back then in the month of September. Uh, but that's still far from being realized at the moment, as we can see on the graph. But yes, we are hopeful. And definitely investors in the initial public offer are still awaiting that chance to uh, get value of their stock there. That is MTN Uganda for your stock there at the Uganda Stock Exchange. Um, moving on to uh, Kenya Airways, really nothing much to uh, say about Kenya Airways. No movement on the... Uganda Stock Exchange. 
Uh, they just had rather a movement or shift in the prices, uh, but nothing really much uh, about uh, their trading because they didn't have actually any uh, trading on this particular day. Let's have a look at Bank of Baroda, however. Bank of Baroda was the second top mover coming behind MTN Uganda. Bank of Baroda yesterday had exactly 1 million shares that were transacted. However, the company maintained the price of 85 shillings at the moment. And um, looking at their position now in the traded stock, most traded on stock, the company was pushed away from the first position, of course, by Stanbic Bank, who became the number one most traded on in the last three months. And um, uh, Bank of Baroda currently is the fourth most traded on stock. And uh, is returning to activity, and we hope uh, definitely this will be uh, sustainable as well. Now, in summary, we had close to about, uh, let's see, 2 million, 2 million 320,000 shares that were transacted. And the day ended with a total turnover of about 323 million sh uh, Ugandan shillings that was transacted on the market. The market performed overwhelmingly good uh, in that we had about 521% improvement in the volumes and about 408% improvement in the turnover. And the current market capitalization is 21.7 trillion uh, Ugandan shillings. What a performance from the Uganda Stock Exchange. On the graph, of course, rather table uh, on your screen, you can have a look at the markets. Of course, even underneath there on the squeeze back, you can see uh, the current stock prices of different companies. Uh, that's Bank of Baroda there at 85. Uh, British American Tobacco, Uganda stuck at 15,000. Centum Investment stuck at 285.39. Uh, CIPLA at 68.59 shillings and the rest, as you can see on your screen at the moment. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that is it from the Uganda Stock Exchange. You can buy stock on the Uganda Stock Exchange. Very simple, open an account, easy way, free of charge. You don't have to have any money on you to open an account. Opening an account is absolutely free of charge. How do you do it? Visit www.use.org.ug. Go to Easy Portal, or you can actually Google Easy Portal on the Uganda Securities Exchange. Simply put those words, and they will bring you the portal. When you visit that portal, you only need an email, you only need your national ID, picture, and the rest is history. You open yourself an account, get to a stock broker. We only have five that are licensed. Very simple math. One, two, three, four, five. You choose one. Either SBG, Diane Blair, Crested Capital, UAP Old Mutual, and as well as Cheaper Technologies, who is the new entrant on the stock brokerage uh, farm list in Uganda. Very quickly, let's move to the Nairobi Stock Exchange and uh, have a look at what happens in the land of Ruto. And now, in the land of Ruto, we had about 50 of the 65 companies that are listed participate in the trading on uh, uh, that particular day of trading. What a performance as well from Nairobi. I think this is the season and uh, a time of investing. This is a time to buy. This is a time to get into the market because uh, we haven't seen this much activity, at least within the last quarter. This is the most intensified activity I've seen, especially starting Monday, uh, yesterday, uh, and as well as today. Of course, the markets are open, so we, we should expect even more activity uh, today. Now, after these 50 participants, the market increased in value. That is regarding, for example, the Osher Index, which paired by about 0.05 points and going up by 0.04%. Uh, uh, we are seeing that the market closed at 129.73 points. Now, the market, after having these 50 participants also, had about 22 gainers on the market and close to 16 losers that lost value on the stock market in Kenya. Surprisingly, Sanlam, Kenya, which was a bottom loser uh, quite a few days ago, came out as a top gainer on the market there in the, United, um, in the Nairobi Stock Exchange, rather. And we had about 9.78% share price appreciation, closing the day with a price of 
Kenyan shillings at the moment. And uh, we had Olympia Capital Holdings as well, coming as a top gainer at about 9.65% appreciation in price. BOC Kenya, that is um, another uh, company there in Kenya that gained at a 9.09, as well as EGADS at a, an 8.9% uh, share price appreciation on the market. On the losing side, however, we had Wumeme trading at about close to, uh, let's see, about 6.4% on uh, the stock market, uh, gaining, losing at about uh, this uh, price to coming to 7.02 uh, Kenyan shillings at the moment. Home Africa also lost 5.56% on the price there. They had an Unga group at 3.33% loss that was registered on the market. Samia Africa uh, lost close to 3% as well. And Ken General uh, Group was the top mover surprisingly as well with the 3.54 million uh, shares that was uh, traded on the stock safaricom came as a second top mover at a 1.32 million uh, shares volume that was transacted uh, on the nairobi stock exchange regarding uh, the performance of other nse indices besides the benchmark which is the nse all share uh, the nse 25 uh, performed uh, rather, uh, you know, slightly declined at about 0.02%, whereas the NSE20, tracking the top 20 companies, appreciated close to 0.61% after yesterday's trades. Now, let's look at Sanlam, Kenya, a little further here uh, to get to see how uh, we can uh, take hold of this opportunity. Now, Sanlam is a Kenyan best holding company as well. And uh, the principal activity of the company uh, through its subsidiary Pan Africa Life of uh, Life Assurance Limited is underwriting of all the classes of long-term insurance business, uh, with the exception of industrial life experience. Now, when you look at the company's uh, current market capitalization, the company has close to 1.42 billion. Kenyan shillings worth of shares that are floated on the exchange and uh, currently having uh, this value is the 40th most valuable on the stock market in Kenya. Um, the company yesterday uh, had about 0.86% uh, uh, depreciation closing at 9.02 Kenyan shillings at the moment and uh, when you look at their earnings uh, per share at the moment, they have about 1.71 negative, uh, which is not a good picture there. And uh, in terms of uh, uh, trading, they actually gained 9.8% on their stock yesterday. However, uh, since the year began, the company has shed off over 14.5%, having begun the year uh, with about uh, 11.55 Kenyan shillings. That is Sunlam Kenya uh, for you. Well, uh, would you consider Sunlam? I, I think not yet. Uh, you know, you might have to wait a little further to observe this particular stock. But uh, we can buy right now into Sunlam. If you're coming into the market for the first time, it would be a good, uh, a good long-term investment, uh, you know, kind of company if you're looking at long-term gain as well. Now, looking at uh, Olympia Capital Holdings, 9.65 was appreciated on the company, uh, which was also one of the top gainers in a couple of days, at least uh, for the last few days of trading, Monday, Tuesday. Olympia has been appearing on the gainers list here on the NSE and definitely uh, is still moving the Nairobi markets as well. BOC Kenya also had a 9.09% appreciation, uh, though still uh, one of the companies you must watch closely before uh, getting to invest in as volatility is quite high uh, within this particular company. Regarding the summary of uh, the day's trading, we had close to 7,240,000 shares that were transacted on the Kenyan market in about close to 1,106 deals. And this was corresponding to a market value of 155 million uh, Kenyan shillings worth of turnover that was transacted. There was a 57% improvement in the volume, of course, 
and 23% uh, improvement in the turnover that was registered on the Nairobi market. The Nairobi market is seemingly, uh, of course, getting back to its former glory, as, of course, now we are away from the election trauma and uh, all these uncertainties that were surrounding the market. Also, the bond yields on uh, the Kenyan bonds have also been uh, pretty good for the last couple of uh, months and uh, weeks as well. And so you can also check out the debt market and see if you can hold uh, some of that stock there. And remember, Ongotex is giving you that opportunity to do so at a very favorable rate and in a very simple, accessible manner. You can now still dial star 290 hash and be able to access more of these instruments across Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda, okay, uh, by your mobile money as well. Thank you very much uh, for still watching Smart24 TV and uh, getting to uh, get your business updates. This show is proudly brought to you by Altex, but we are more concerned about you making moves to save money and invest that money wisely. Of course, with uh, Zabu, you can do that at the moment. And uh, with just simply dialing star 29 to hash, you can go straight uh, to buying and even selling different uh, products like bonds on the secondary market and even learn more about uh, the particularly very interesting products that Otex has. They also have an ETF or exchange traded fund that can help you also uh, get to invest in different regional equities in East Africa. Otex East Africa is of course uh, now the number one private stock exchange and bringing you all these services at no hassle and they're telling you definitely you can do something new with your money. Now let's look at uh, the cryptocurrency market. Of course, cryptocurrency markets yesterday were on the gaining side. Uh, however, uh, Bitcoin is clinging to the 19,000 uh, at the moment. And uh, of course, sustainable Bitcoin protocol wants to make Bitcoin a climate positive asset. And currently Bitcoin is at 19,211 US dollars per coin. And this has been registered as a loss of 2.32% over the last 24 hours. Ethereum has also been on the losing side at 1,298.16 United States dollars. And a 2.92% decline has been recorded on the coin. XRP is also at 0 0.47, uh, 0 0.45 rather at the moment, US dollars, and has lost about 3.57%. Binance Coin has also lost 271.28 uh, on the US market there at a 1.02% loss on uh, the value of the coin. It looks like Bitcoin is a benchmark for all the cryptocurrencies because Whatever happens to Bitcoin definitely sheds off uh, on most of the bigger coins as well, including Ethereum, including uh, XRP, Binance, and the like. But Binance US dollar, uh, that is uh, another coin there that is proving to be uh, taking the different direction after it gained about 0.03% uh, on a daily value there at 0 uh, 0.9945. Uh, US dollars at the moment. Of course, the cryptocurrency uh, ne network here in Uganda has uh, been promoted, and of course, many people are trading in crypto. However, the space is not as uh, very uh, re well regulated at the moment, and of course, uh, Bank of Uganda uh, put a suspension on uh, kind of transacting mobile money to cryptocurrency at the moment. Uh, but still, through other means, you can still be able to uh, buy some of these coins and make money. But remember, you must take caution and be able to deal uh, with a licensed person or rather make sure you have enough knowledge or sufficient knowledge uh, before making uh, those investments. Uh, that's it, ladies and gentlemen, from me and the team here at Financial Markets. Uh, we are really honored to have you. We'll catch you tomorrow, same time, same place. Save and invest. Goodbye for now. Bye.